We're in Michigan for one week. And look what happened to Opal. <laughs> Just kidding. Welcome to the Adventure Closet. I'm Liz and this is Charlie. We are two 80s and 90s kids that never lost their sense of wonder. We're all over the map, exploring wild and abandoned places, discovering rocks, geology, and history of different areas, all while living and traveling in our minivan Opal. I guess you can say our life is a mixtape of adventures. So hop in the van, hit the subscribe button, and let's go somewhere. We are on our way again, headed to Marquette, Michigan. Gonna do a library day today. Possibly another one tomorrow. Got some videos to make for you guys. And uh, then some more adventures. That's the best part is the adventures. And here we are in downtown Marquette, Michigan. We are going to find the library. I think Charlie already said that. Turn left onto West Ridge Street, then turn left. Found it. Wow, that's a fancy looking library. Oh, is that the library? Ooh, that is fancy. Look at that, you guys. Ooh. Well, like the Take the next left. Like the destination will be on Wow, the that's beautiful. Mm. I bet you guys want to see inside. We need to show you guys inside the libraries more. It's, it's kind of an exciting part of our adventures. Is even though we're, uh, you know, having to go there to work, we get to see a new cool library and learn about the history of the area and all kinds of cool stuff. You know how we're rock and mineral obsessed? Well, this library houses another kind of obsession. Let me tell you about one story of the late Rachel Spear, who left 600 of her precious bells to the Peter White Public Library. She was an active member in her community, including being president of the Tuberculosis Association. During a project to promote their Christmas seals, which included a picture of a bell, she began a mission to uncover the stories about the antique bells of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. This had her climbing into steeples to read inscriptions and take photos of these remarkable bells of the area. Her obsession was so infectious that people would send her bells from around the world. There's just so many reasons to love libraries, you guys, including free books. In 800 feet at the traffic circle, take the second exit and stay on US Highway 41 South. It is nighttime, and nighttime is the right time in Northern Michigan if you're gonna go look for Uper lights. And we have a very exciting guest who drove quite a ways from central, like South Central Minnesota, uh, all the way here to Marquette, Michigan, and uh, to meet up with us and go rock hounding. And uh, she's actually a Patreon supporter and we're really excited to meet Jackie. And uh, she said that she's okay with being on camera, so we'll introduce you guys. And some of you rock hounds probably already know Jackie because she's uh, 
very active in the rock hounding community and uh, you might see her a lot on the rock hound podcast so uh, very excited to have her on so we're here with Jackie you won't really be able to see her that much I'm shining a light in her face <laughs> um, and we're trying to find a beach so we can go rock hunting no rocks How much beach can you travel on down there? Is it just not big enough? This is a pettable rock, I'm just saying. Yeah, it looks like quartzite, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Something. It's weird how it's banded, though, like. I'm trying to find beach on this cool rock, though. Oh. Is there? Let's see. Ah. <laughs> uh. It's solid rock, but like no gravel. It's cool though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Quartzitey. Quartzitey, that's a word. Oh, there's some Druzy right there. Like yeah. From this side, maybe it's a. Uh, oh, I can see quite it. Quite a bit better. Oh yeah. That's beautiful. Oh, there's more. Huh. You find any any youpers? No, but there's like. Red algae right here. Oh, yeah. Is that one? You see that? Yeah. The lichen. That's cool. Yeah. So Charlie found this vein. That could be calcite in there. That's cool. Yeah, it does have kind of a jaspery look, but it's not like as like shiny. Yeah, it doesn't have the wax. Yeah. Like kiln. Let's see what we can find out about it. It's a carp river furnace. Mm hmm Iron making at the mouth of the Carp River. Charcoal was burned in kilns using hardwoods harvested from vast forests. So we were just saying that we're um, out here at night in a place we've never been looking for a rock we've never seen before. It's a challenge. Ooh. So oh, it's got, got like flash. some feldspar flashiness to it. So I put some kind of plain looking rocks down here and Charlie's shining the black light on it. Um, but still no youpers. Gotta keep looking. Oh, right. Jackie just found a tumbled up piece of slag. Mm -hmm. See? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then well, the air bubbles. Is that nice. the one I just dropped slag? What was the one I just dropped? Oh that. Because it's got like that on it. Slag for your sure. slags. Yeah, it'll be a first. I have one like that at home that's green and it's so. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's beautiful. Yeah. Mm. 
Okay, so I just found a piece of slag. Nice. Jackie gave us this rock that she found earlier today. It's beautiful. That banding is so interesting. Like it's almost an agate, but it's like quartzy and Jaspery and all kinds of stuff going on in it. It's very cool. It's Liz and Jackie rock counting in the dark. Jackie found. It's a fossil. <laughs> so should I be the whale or the pelican? Yeah, the other side. Okay. Okay, I'm off. Woo! All right, let me get my feet up. Oh, there, that just stopped the ride for everybody. No, get the ride. We need a fourth. Yeah. I know. Somebody call Nick. Yeah. Nick's <laughs> close. There we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, whoa! I'm surprised I don't have this on the ground. <laughs> oh, mine's not on the ground. Oh, it's got good suspension. That's right. Maybe you should try that side over there. <laughs> Yo, I don't know, boy. All right, who get, who's getting thrown first? <laughs> yeah. I'm holding on. Oh, I just bought him down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was really, now that you said it, I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to quit. No, that was not very uh, pleasant. <laughs> well. That was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Next time you get to ride in the middle. <laughs> oh, okay. This one you don't have that quite. Yeah, you don't feet full, but you do feel like... It looks like you're going to face plant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're standing up. That's smart. My hips are hurting. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs>
Okay, I think Charlie found a youper. Well, I don't know. Youper tell me. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. But I don't know, would it be uh, more brighter? But well, that's pretty I mean, good. And then A little bit. But, uh, yeah, I don't think it's uh, Those ones are like almost solidly orange. But they're gray. But they're gray. Cool. Yeah, that one. Charlie found the biggest chunk of coal ever on the face of the planet. Just kidding. But it's pretty big. And the biggest sodalite Jackie found and handed to me. That was super nice of her. Yeah. Might be too big to take. <laughs> <laughs> Is it it's a youper? It glows? Uh yeah, it glows. Nice. I think it glows like purple and orange. Awesome. Want to show you guys. I think this is the coolest piece of slag I found. But we found a ton of it. We're gonna and leave it, 11 up for a rock hound. It's all UV reactive, all this stuff is. Yeah, it all glowed orange. Well, some of these glowed purple. Oh, really? Yeah. This one's pretty. I want to find some colored stuff though. Like there's some greens and blues. We might still. Hey guys, we're going through the rocks that we found while we were searching for Uperlites with Jackie. And it turns out we did come up with two Uperlites. Um, a lot of these here are slag, which we found that slag. Uh, Definitely glows and looks like a uperlite. That one's purple. Yeah, that one is purple. But yeah, isn't that very uperlite looking? Well, it's not, but these are. Oh, there we go. That was better footage. It was too bright because that light was on. Okay, that's more like it. In focus? Yeah, kind of. That's cool. And this Mondo one. Super duper uper. <laughs> this is super duper uper. It's humongous. Jackie actually found that one. Yeah. And she gave it to Charlie. That's awesome. And I put this sucker in my pocket. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably like uh, at least an eight pound uper. Yeah. So thank you, Jackie, for letting us keep that. Mm-hmm. This one's amazing. Look at that color. I like it. Yeah. This one is nice. Very cool. Um, these are just single color slag. So like there's a purple one here and then there's just a ton of orange ones that we found. Oh wait, that looks like a youper. Nah, that's just purple. Another purple one. And orangey orange. So that's swag glass. I think sandstone. Oh, 
But yeah, pretty cool stuff. You're pretty cool stuff. I know. We're in Michigan for one week. And look what happened to Opal. <laughs> Just kidding. This is why you don't buy a van from the Midwest. Um, Cause uh, that's what you can see. Imagine all the other stuff you can't see. It's from all the salt and the roads. Yeah, from when it snows and they salt the roads. Um, that's what happens. It sucks. It's on so many vehicles around here. It's crazy. Even newer ones. Yeah, like about every other vehicle. Like, look at this VW. <clears throat> That's an Audi. Is it an Audi? Oh, it is an Audi. It looks like a Passat. But yeah, even that one. So... <clears throat> So we'll be washing Opal soon, just from driving around here. <laughs> Plus we haven't washed her since the beet harvest, so you can imagine how bad she is. Oh, she's dirty. She was covered in like the black clay from the beet harvest for a while. Well, that was fun. That was so much fun. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon, and we'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye now.